magandang araw mga bata. Ako si Teacher Miley. Tutulungan ko kayo na basahin at intindihin ang inyong mga modules. Tara, basahin na natin. Grade 3, Mathematics, Quarter 1, Module 6, Identifying Ordinal Numbers. What I know. Multiple choice. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. How are you going to write 33rd in symbols? Is it letter A? Letter B? Letter C? Or letter D? Number 2. What are the three ordinal numbers that comes after 90th? What's the next number? Three next number after 90th. A. Is it letter B? Is it letter C? Or is it letter D? Number three. What is 97 in, if written in words? Is it letter A? Is it letter B? Is it letter C? Or is it letter D? Number 4. What is 25th if written in symbols? Letter A. Is it letter B? Letter C? Or letter D? And number 5. What is 80, 80th in, if written in words? Letter A? Letter B? Letter C? Or letter D? Lesson. Identifies ordinal numbers from 1st to 100 with emphasis on 21st to 100 object in a given set from a given point of reference. Have you experienced falling in line in school? What should you observe when falling in line? What's in? A picture of children line up after another. Read the name and the identification ID card number of each pupil below the picture. Arrange the children's name according to their ID card number in an increasing order. Ibig sabihin, increasing order, ibig sabihin yung pinaka-konte or pinaka-mababang pinaka number up to the highest number. Which among those children have the lowest ID card number? Write it here in the space provided. And then the next one up to the last. Who is first in the list? Write your answer on the blank. Who is the third? Who's the third one? Write it on the blank. Third, ibig sabihin, pangatlo. The fifth, write it on the blank. Ang palima. The seventh, talin sa mga batang yan, yung pang seven. Write it on the blank. And the tenth, pang sampu. Write it on the blank. What's new? Before we discuss about ordinal numbers in this module, it is important to understand the following terms used in the course of the lesson. Numeral, it means relating to numbers. Ordinal, relating to an order. Pagkasunod-sunod. Superscript, letters written immediately at the right of the character. It is set slightly above the normal line of text. It is usually smaller than the text it was attached. In the symbol, first, the letters ST are written as superscript. Ito yung mga maliit na letters sa itaas ng number. Katapos ng number. Point of reference, the point or object in which the order of counting starts. To introduce to you what these ordinal numbers be like, we can easily cite examples like the alphabet where letters are being arranged in a specific order. 
Here is a chart of Filipino alphabet from the first to the last letter. How many letters does the Filipino alphabet have? Can you count them? How many letters are there? The alphabet is composed of letters in a fixed order. Notice that the arrangement of letters indicates the position or order of one letter in relation to the other letters. May pagkasunod-sunod yung mga letters. What is it? Ordinal numbers are numbers that indicate the position or order of an object or number in relation to a point of reference. Ito yung mga pagkasunod-sunod ng mga numbers. When objects are placed in order, we use ordinal numbers to tell their position. In writing ordinal numbers and its symbol, study the table below. Okay, you repeat after teacher. First, second, third, fourth, Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, Twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, 90th, 100. Notice that in writing ordinal numbers in symbol, we used a number combined with letters ST, ND, RD, and TH as superscripts. Yan yung mga nasa itaas. Yung mga letters na nasa itaas katapos ng mga numbers. In writing the symbol of an ordinal number, apply the following rule. Ito yung mga rules. Kung paano natin malalaman kung ST sa dulo, ND, RD, or TH yung gagamitin natin. Number one is for numbers ending in 1, connect with the letters ST as superscripts. Kapag yung number nag end sa 1, ang gagamitin natin, letters ST as superscripts. Kagaya ng mga to. For numbers ending in 2, connect with the letters N and D as superscripts. Kapag yung huling number naman is 2, ang gagamitin natin na superscript R, N, and D. Na our letters N and D. Kagaya ng mga to. And for numbers ending in 3, connect with the letters R, D as superscripts. Gaya ng mga to. And, for numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, kapag yung number nag end sa 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, we will use the letter TH as superscripts. Gaya ng mga to. Please take note that the ordinal numbers 11th, 12th, and 13th are exempted to the rules. Okay. You just have to remember the rules 
uh, for you to know kung anong gagamitin mong superscripts. What's more, activity 1, here are some numbers. Change them into ordinal numbers by writing TH, RD, ND, or ST as superscripts. You have to look at the last number or the ending numbers to know kung anong gagamitin mo kung TH, RD, ND, or ST ba. Like this number 1, 31. The ending number or the last number is 1. Kapag 1 yung ending number, anong gagamitin mong superscript? TH, RD, ND, or ST. Just have to add the superscripts at the end of the number. You will copy the number and the blank and then you gonna add S and T. Activity 2. Complete the chart below. Write your answer on a separate sheet. This one, you have to write the missing numbers. Again, follow the rules in writing um, ordinal numbers. What I have learned. Ordinal numbers are numbers that indicate the position or order of an object or number in relation to a point of reference. To write ordinal numbers in symbol, use superscript letters. ST for numerals with the number ending in 1. N, ND for numerals with the number ending in 2. RD for numerals with the number ending in 3. And TH for numerals with number ending in 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 0. What I can do? Activity number 3. My first 100 words. From the list of 100 words in the previous page, consider the order of reading downward from left to right, then right the ordinal number of the following words below. So, ang point of reference natin is from up to down. Up to down words from left to right. So, ganito po siya. Yan, ganyan siya. Number one, there. You find the word there in this set of words. And then, you count kung pang ilan po siya sa mga set of words. And then, you will write its ordinal number kung pang first, pang second, pang third, um, and so on and so forth. Assessment. Multiple choice. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Number one. How are you going to write? 23rd in symbols. 23rd. Letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D. You have to know the last number. 23rd. Number 3. Oh. When the last number is number 3, what superscripts are you, will you use? Just have to choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 2. Identify which ordinal number is written in wrong way. Alin daw dyan yung mali? A, B, C, or D? Number 3. What is 65th if written in words? 65th. Letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? Just have to know the last number again, and then you will decide kung ano ang idadagdag mong superscript. Number 4, what is 75th if written in symbol? Is it letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D? Again, you just have to find the last number, 75th. It's number 5. What will you add? What superscript will you add uh, to the number 5? And number 5, what is 100 if written in words? Additional activities. Activity 4, fill in the blanks. Ordinal number in symbol and ordinal number in words. Okay, you just have to write the missing answer. Like in this one, number one, it's 31st. 
you write its ordinal number in words. Number two, forty-fifth. Just have to write its ordinal number in words here. And number three, the missing is the ordinal number in symbol. Number four, eighty-first. You have to write its ordinal number in words here. And number five, sixty-eight. Write its ordinal number in words here. And number six, the missing is the symbol, ordinal number in symbol. Kuha nyo ba ang araling ito, mga bata? Sa susunod naman, ako ulit si Teacher Mindy. Paalam! <laughs>